What's up everybody, my name is Dwight and welcome back to GeForce Garage. With Cyberpunk 2077 being one of the most anticipated games of the year, we're featuring a mod themed after the game, powered by none other than one of our limited edition RTX 2080 Ti's. Recently, NVIDIA, in collaboration with CD Projekt Red, made a limited edition GeForce RTX 2080 Ti themed after Cyberpunk 2077. Only 200 were made and 77 have already been given out to the community. We got our hands on one, so naturally, being GeForce Garage, we just had to put this beauty into a PC fitting its stature. To help us with this project, we enlisted the help of Ronnie Hara out in Japan, who has been on the show a couple of times already with some awesome themed builds, and we knew that he could deliver. So here it is, in all of its glory. But before we get into the specifics, let's talk about how we came up with this case design. We looked to another cyberpunk collectible for inspiration, the official collector's edition of the game. So not only does the collector's edition come with a 10-inch statue of V, an art book, and dozens of other cool game-related swag, all of it will come in a pretty sweet-looking box. Using only the few images of the Collector's Edition box on the web, Ronnie carefully tried to replicate the details as a 3D render and planned on how to make it a viable case mod. Using a laser machine to cut out pieces from 5mm acrylic, the external structure was created in layers. Once he had spray painted them that signature cyberpunk yellow, they were then attached to the panels of a Corsair 570X RGB. Moving on to the interior, Ronnie brought that same design language to the power supply shroud, even creating an RGB lit logo that ties into the fan lighting. Now let's talk about the specs of the PC. As we just mentioned, the case is a Corsair 570X RGB, but the obvious centerpiece is the Cyberpunk 2077 edition RTX 2080 Ti. We paired that with an Intel 9900K on an MSI Z390A Pro board, it's got 32 gigs of HyperX Predator RGB RAM, along with two SSDs, a Samsung 951 TB on the back, and a Samsung 970 EVO 1TB M.2. The water cooling loop is all bits power, and everything is powered by a Corsair HX1000. Alright, well it looks amazing, let's go see how well it performs. As usual, we'll start with a 3D Mark Time Spy run, in which we scored an impressive 12,773. Even the score has a 77 in it. I thought it would be fairly appropriate that since this PC is based off of Cyberpunk to check out the performance in Witcher 3. Riding around a bunch of foliage at 4K on the Ultra preset, we maintained above 60 frames per second up to the low 70s. And over in Call of Duty Modern Warfare, at 4K on mostly high settings with ray tracing on, we averaged around 90 to 100 frames per second. And would you look at that, substance to match the style. I didn't think that I would want a yellow PC in my house, but I've absolutely fallen in love with this one and it breaks my heart that I can't keep it. Ronnie, you absolutely outdid yourself and I hope we work with you again on something soon. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this episode, hit that subscribe button down below, and we'll see you for the next one.